Giants fans, Kelly Johnson, Alex Popovich, and Anthony Garcia with you for a fresh new edition of Field to Table, brought to you by, wait for it, guys, wine.com. We are officially hooked up with some wine pairings uh, for our delicious ballpark dishes, and uh, I'm excited. I don't know about you guys, and you can tell your significant others, they are welcome. It's worked out well for us. We're very happy. <laughs> Today, I'm really excited because we're making my very favorite ballpark dish over at Oracle Park, crazy crab sandwiches. So Gwendolyn Osborne at wine.com sent over two, not one, but two wines for us to pair with the crazy crab, starting with the Chardonnay uh, from Substance, Washington State. And we have a Pinot Noir, a light red. This is Zephyr Pinot Noir from New Zealand. So um, we got a little red, a little white, I don't know about you, but I'm okay with uh, double fisting, Anthony. I already see your your starting in. I'm single fisting, but if you single fist quickly, it's just kind of like double fisting. Let's get into the sandwiches. Uh, we got to start with the ingredients. Everything you need to have for the crazy crab is actually pretty simple. You're going to get your crab meat, and you do want to pasteurize crab meat. You're going to get mayonnaise, lemon, sourdough bread. Did anybody get the real deal? Like, what'd you guys get for sourdough? I went with the sliced Bodine sourdough bread. I went fancy. I'm going brioche bun. Ooh, switching it up. We're also going to need some butter, garlic naturally, parsley for a little decoration, and tomato, salt and pepper to taste. Let's get started, Alex. We have the crab first, obviously. Um, I think we all went looking for real crab. My crab guy at Whole Foods said that uh, it's not crab season, apparently. There's yeah. a crab season. Who knew? First, you have a crab guy. I have a crab guy. I met him that day, but he's my crab guy. By the way, don't get the canned crab meat that's like by the tuna fish. That's no, this was like by the fish fish. Yeah, no, th this is good stuff. This will make like, you know, crab cakes and, and whatnot. You got the crab meat, it's half a cup. I feel like good cooks, Alex, they just go with it. A little of this, a little of that. You know how our gram grandmas always teach us how to cook. You mix the crab meat. Okay. One tablespoon of mayonnaise. What you want to do next? You want to cut your lemon into wedges. Here are my lemon wedges, which I may or may not have had help with. Spoiler alert, I had help with it. Are you feeling more confident with this? A lot, a lot more confident. I know exactly what I did wrong. I've got uh, roasted and made fun of by many people. So mm -hmm. I'm stepping up my game this week. You don't want to add too much lemon. You want it to maintain that crab taste. And then you want to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Not bad. Put more salt. It tastes like the ocean. Everybody's uh, got their crab ready to roll. After each step, I like to reward myself with a little sip of corn. I'm, I'm gonna stick with the the chardonnay on a warm day. I feel like that's proper. I will apologize. I've made a lot of jokes about how expensive the crab sandwiches in Paul Park are, mm -hmm. but then we had to shop for crab, and I realized it's like somewhat right. expensive. So. Yeah, this whole can is about what you would pay for a sandwich. I'll so give them a break. It is a little bit more cost effective, but I, to honest, be honest, like things to be cooked for me. Okay, so now we've got to make the garlic sourdough toast, right? So let's get out our sourdough. We're first gonna need uh, two tablespoons of butter at room temperature. Turn your stove on. And in the meantime, turn your stove off to medium high heat. Now you're gonna mix uh, one clove of chopped garlic or one and a half teaspoons, uh, Anthony, of uh, your pre-chopped garlic. And you're gonna mix the butter and the teaspoons together. I'm going garlic butter, baby. If you wanna skip the line, if you wanna get ahead of the game, just get the garlic butter. Next time you're just gonna show up with the, uh, the dish completely made by somebody else in a store, right? I haven't ruled that out yet. Okay, so mix that together, and we're gonna get the sliced sourdough bread out. You're already buttering it, perfect. Okay, so my sourdough bread is a lot bigger than what you get at at uh, Oracle Park. It's a lot bigger. We got butter and garlic. Oh, see, Alex is going off uh, off script. You're supposed to melt that on your bread, or a slight, you know, cover your bread, bread slice with it, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I am going, by the way, with a cast iron because I feel like it might make it a little uh, more toasty. 
So I'm, I'm taking a I'm taking a chance here that the cast iron is gonna deliver. You have to get and overdo the garlic. Me with the garlic butter. That was smart. Yeah, watch. His is gonna turn out better today because he's <laughs> corners. Just don't burn any, Anthony. Make sure it's medium high heat. Work smarter, not harder. Okay, so we got the butter mixture on the bread. And we are getting ready to make the sandwich. We've got the bro brioche out. There you go. It's like a lobster roll. I totally think. different kind of a sandwich, but I'm. In the middle there? That's curious. fine. Cooking is mostly improvisation. Sure, go with it. Oh, got to cut the. Cut the tomatoes, people. You're gonna to cut the tomatoes. Have those ready. Hey. So here's the thing. I know it was in the recipe, but I hate tomatoes. I don't eat uh -oh. tomatoes. Mm. So don't you guys are gonna to have to carry the tomatoes and I'm gonna make up the looks elsewhere. Okay, well, since Alex is going off script, uh, Anthony, what we need to do now is take our buttered garlic bread sourdough, put it down on the grill. Or on the butter, butter side down. Butter side down. Cast iron on your pan, medium high heat, and you're immediately going to take your crab mixture and you are going to uh, put it on the entire top of the bread. Glad I got extra crab because this is a big piece of bread. Ooh. This is going to be like a mega crab sandwich. This thing would cost like $40. Okay, crabs on the bread. It is toasting. How's it going over there, Alex? What you got going? I have a brioche bun that's getting like that perfect brown. Perfect brown. That is a very fine line between that perfect brown and me burning this, but we'll see. I feel good about it. I feel too good about it. I feel like I'm lulling into a false sense of security. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about this cast iron, too. Oh, yeah, she's getting toasty, gentlemen. She's getting toasty. So let's talk about wind up really quick because one uh, <laughs> they have a great selection of wines, obviously, that you can order. Uh, they also have a great app that gives you all sorts of information about the wine that's really easy to use. And you can get $25 off a $100 order from wine.com by using the code MBC Sports, all uppercase, so you can get a deal as well and then come home, make the craft cakes, buy the uh, Chardonnay or Pinot, you know, depending on your red or white status, and enjoy with us. This isn't a joke. I used it before this, before they sponsored our cooking because. We need wine. We can't go anywhere. So perfect in a quarantine. Solve a lot of problems. Look at my brioche bun. Feels like it needs to get toaster. Ooh, look at that. It's lovely. Why do we want brioche? Mine well, toasted pretty well and pretty quickly. Let's see this. Wait, hold on. I'm adding my tomato. Okay. Once it's toasted, you add the tomato slices. You put toast on both sides. Sam, I'm behind. Both sides. I was gonna do that last, I put it on top. Okay, so, as I just discovered, don't forget the other side. It says to add a little parsley on top, so I'm gonna do that as well. That's for the finished product, so yes, you're ready. You've got the lemon slice, tomato on, you gotta cut it. So, uh, I'm gonna go with good, not great, better than last week, edible, at least. I'm really confused about what you did with the parsley. I just throw it on top. I threw a lot on top. There's on top the uh, first, first uh, slice. The the garlic's getting a little burnt. This isn't as easy as it looks. Again, back to the ballpark I need to go. I think I might have over buttered it. See, that's where I think I've gone wrong. I feel like when you go to Oracle Park, there's a lot of butter on that bread and it just toasts up perfectly. The key. A little chip with it. Oh! Fill you up. We got our brioche with our crab and parsley. Not bad, not bad. Okay, here we go. Still waiting. Almost there. Did you switch pans? I did. I was frustrated with the uh, cast iron. So, uh, but it, it, did any of your guys' garlic burn? No. I know how to cook. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh. I'm not a Chardonnay person, but uh, this isn't too bad. It goes very well with the crab sandwich. Yeah, crab, I feel like you gotta go with white wines, although I would prefer a red wine, but on a hot day with a warm sandwich, probably not. See, it's burnt. It's burnt. That doesn't look like I like my toast a little burnt, and I'm not saying that to cover up my tracks. I really do like a little burnt. That looks nothing like Oregon Park. 
That looks nothing like a crazy crab sandwich. Neither does mine. Like so. That's what I've learned through the first two episodes, is that the food is actually fairly priced because cooking it yourself is <laughs> not worth it. I don't knock when my crab guy told me the price. Okay. Oh, you know what? I think I made a comeback with this. Ooh. Ooh, I think I made a comeback. Attempt at the crazy crab sandwich in Oracle Park. Let's see, there's Alex with the brioche. A little open face situation. And the open face, like a lobster roll. Like you would see in a fancy restaurant. Yeah, mine is something you would probably see not at a restaurant. It's a, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little burnt. But it's an improvement from last week. Let me show you mine. There you go. You see the toasty, crunchy beautifulness? It looks good. Thank you. All right. Steve. All right. Crab sandwiches. Crab sandwiches. This is good. Mmm. That's quite delicious. This actually is not bad. I'm not gonna lie. You're eating them all winter. The struggle was real, but real, but it was worth it. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Look at that. You know what? The peanut works with that. I'm not gonna lie. Again, you can get the uh, code NBCSupportsLine.com. Get a discount. I think we did a much better job in this. Uh, I think we did a good job. A field at table. I think I, it was a total. I work. for sure did a better job. All right, well, enjoy the crazy crab sandwiches. Sure, I will. Let's I hope am. we get to the ballpark soon and actually eat a real one. Cheers. Field to table. Bon appetit. <laughs>